fantastic. Podlings. Mm, good spooky evening. Uh, you know, good morning is the proper greeting today because, you know, we usually do lunch boxes. Which but, usually has lunch in it. Yeah, but, you know, what do you have before lunch? Breakfast. Second breakfast. Second breakfast. No, first breakfast. Second. So oh. you, With the you, potatoes. You're doing, you're doing those, those that Hobbit thing. Love the Hobbit You, you want one of those Hobbit... Hobbit. I'm you a gotta, Hobbit hound. That's you what gotta break it. this Hobbit. Yeah. Break this Hobbit real quick. Mm -hmm. It's a bad Hobbit. It's a bad Hobbit. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, no, we're doing something different today. Yeah, this is like a like this is like a special edition lunchbox with no lunchbox bunch. Right. Because right. there's no lunch. This is a box. This, this is, we do have a box. And, and breakfast is in the box. So that's like the breakfast, breakfast box. box. Yeah. 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 Uh, but we were very excited by this, mm -hmm. and we searched high and low. Mm -hmm. Until we finally found them. Uh, this is for the 50th anniversary of the General Mills Monster Cereals. Yes. Even though the, the first two was Frankenberry and Count Chocula. Yeah. In 1971. So yeah. this is the 50th anniversary of Frankenberry and Count Chocula, but the rest of his gang is there. And they, they right. what they did was, if you don't know this already, if you've lived in a coffin... For the past couple weeks. Um, and we figured we would do this too because this is appropriate because we're getting close to Halloween. So this right. is like part of our spooky series. Uh, so, you know, they, they have the whole gang together and they put them all together. And they're calling it the Monster Mash, which is mm -hmm. very exciting. I am so excited. It contains Count Chocula, my personal favorite. Frankenberry. That's my personal favorite. The Boo Berry. Mm -hmm. The Boo Berry. People don't know that. His name is actually The Boo Berry. The Boo Berry. Yeah, it's not true. But Boo Berry came out in 1973. Then it was Fruit Brute. Fruit Brute. Which was... Which is my... Which is my... actually have on the side when that could... That was 1974. That's my second favorite, actually. And then people think this, that Fruit Brute was just turned into Yummy and Mummy. No. Not true. No. Yummy Mummy came out in... 88. 88. That was a lot... Way past, and they kind of like fruit brute was pretty much gone by then. Fruit, yeah, fruit brute had been discontinued. I, I think because you and I are of an age where fruit brute had been discontinued before we started buying monster cereals. So I actually personally never knew there was a fruit brute until I saw Pulp Fiction and oh, yeah, um, yeah, Eric Stoltz yeah, was eating, eating fruit. Eating Wait, fruit. How old was that cereal? It wasn't on the market anymore. He was eating like some rancid cereal at that That's point. That's true, yeah. I didn't taste Fruit Brute until, what was it, 2014, 2013? They, they put it back out, and they, they put out all the cereals again. Yeah, and it was fantastic. And I'm yeah. sad they haven't brought it back since because it was they really have. good. They, now they just continue to put out Frankenberry, Booberry, and Count Chocula. But yeah. this year we have a special treat because we're getting this Monster Mash, which is so exciting. I am mm -hmm. so excited because I look so forward every year to the, the monster cereals it makes me so disappointed that you can only get it at halloween yeah it's like the pumpkin spice thing right people obviously love the pumpkin spice just keep the pumpkin stuff out all year people seem like they want it right. maybe that's what makes it so special though maybe by taking it away and then bringing it back is what makes it so special because then people wouldn't appreciate it well i know my dad used to get really upset if people watched christmas movies like in the off season because he's like well they're not as special now because right it's more special yeah. if you have to wait all year to and see it was it. weird too because your dad was jewish yeah yeah yes so shalom uh and so is count chocula didn't know That's that a little known fact too he that. is also uh, uh jewish yes he celebrates the uh hanukkah so, so we haven't tried this yet this is like going to be a flavor explosion right and you know what? You, actually, if you you I, could pick out all the fruit brew pieces and then basically make fruit brew for yourself. <laughs> I do you want to give a, a shout out to our good friend Mr. Marshall Hicks, who hosts a horror podcast called uh, Boys and Ghouls, mm -hmm. because he for years has been buying, ju but just Chocula, Booberry, and Frankenberry when they come out, yeah. and mixing them in a bowl and calling it Monster Mash. That's yeah. what he calls it. 
Um, of course, he did not have access to Yummy Mummy and Fruit Brew because yeah. they weren't on the market. But he has been making homemade Monster Mash. And that's what he called it. Too. You know what I so. do? Here's the little thing that I do. I get Golden Grams and mix them with Count Chocula. Yeah. And it's like a s'more cereal. Remember the s'more cereal? Mm -hmm. It reminded me of that. So I always take Golden Grams and mix them with Count Chocula because you get the marshmallow, you get the chocolate, and then you get the graham cracker. You get the s'more cereal again. But the s'more cereal, I don't think... Well, actually, didn't they put that out again recently? I think so. I think so. they did put it out again recently, and it was not It was pretty good. We should also point out, too, we're saying how there's Count Chocula, Frankenberry, Blueberry, Fruity Yummy Mummy, and Fruit Brute are all in this box. Okay, we, we've established that. Allegedly. But, we but haven't this, opened it yet. This is from General Mills, so, of course, there's also shrimp in there. That is true. Right. If you're lucky. If we're, if we're lucky. Yeah. yeah. Um... But the box art is great because they have a mm -hmm. whole, like, they have a whole, like, they're in a band. It's almost kind of like the Groovy Ghoulies. They're all in a band now. And they have a whole, like, behind the music video to go along with it. Yep. If you do the QR code on the back of the box, you can hear their songs. You can hear them talking about the music that, like, how the band got together and, like, the, the trials and tribulations of the, uh, of the monster group. And, and um, it's pretty funny. I do wish... I, I understand nobody like today, or very few people today have a record player. Yeah. But I kind of wish they had given us one of those square. People have records. Records has made the research. Well, it would be the, weird it, if it was a cassette tape. It's man. not. It's not a common thing though that like everyone has in their house. But You're talking about the plastic, the the the, the floppy, uh, clear plastic square records like the that they they used to stick the them McDonald's on the box. Menu song. Uh, yeah, McDonald's yeah. put it. McDonald's put it in this in the newspaper. Right. You had to buy the Sunday paper, but they used to put them on cereal boxes. Like I remember Ghostbusters cereal had one. Uh, okay, I and know. you I had to listen to that. to find out if you could like win a trip to meet a Ghostbuster. But that would have been a neat little. Thing. That was the whole shtick with the. McDonald's one. Right. If you've played the whole, it would usually it would get to the point and they'd be all be like, blah, 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 and they'd mess up the right, lyrics. Right, right. But if you got all the way through. I turned that into a, you a ringtone. Obviously, uh, one. I turned that into uh, a ringtone on diabetes. my phone. They, they had the, uh, it was the McDonald's menu song. Big Mac McDLT, Quarter Pounder Wizard. So yeah, I can make that. I have a ringtone. Yeah. So uh, why don't we crack this bad boy open? Let's do it. And we're going to taste test this on there. So you're going to see two uh, grown men eat cereal and, uh, I have I have I have special I have special monster bowls too. Oh, that we got at at Target. This is very exciting. So you can have the uh, one-eyed one-eyed monster, and Ooh. I will get this. This looks kind of like the creature from the Black Lagoon got a thing going on here. Let's see. Everybody, check out my one-eyed monster. This is exciting. Go, right? Yeah, I'm excited. Look at that. All right, there's no prizes though. They never look at look at look at that. It just kind of looks like, to be honest with you, though. It's beautiful. Looking at it, though, at first glance. It just looks like Frankenberry and... And, and Blueberry and maybe Count Chocula's in there? I actually don't even know for sure. Is Count Chocula actually in there? Because when they show us the marshmallows, they don't show Count Chocula. There's the bat. Oh. There's the bat. There's the... Uh, but it says oh, berry flavored. I don't think it's a chocolate flavored marshmallow. The cereal itself is just berry flavored. So the marshmallow, the marmot, is what they call that? The, the mar, mar, marbits? There's like a name for those goofy little, uh, this might be not what I think it is then. I was thinking there was, I was thinking like, what's this flavor going to taste like? Because all the other ones are fruit based. You got right. Frankenberry, they obviously strawberry based, and blueberry, which is, I guess, supposed to be blueberry. And smell test? It smells like it smells better than most of the thermoses they smoke. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Do you want that much? Yeah, you can, you can take some of that. Yeah. I've been sitting here all day. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Oh. Uh, uh, we're losing one. We're losing. We lost one. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to put that over here. I, now, I need, here's a spoon for you. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, we're going to show it. There it is. Oh, monster Ooh, mash. That's the monster mash. I'm gonna use some milk. Wait, don't taste it. You can't. You can't taste. You're going. You're going dry. I'm going you're dry. Raw that. Yeah. Raw dogging it. I'm gonna try it with a little, little milk. I was working in the lab late one evening. Oh, did you get flagged for copyright infringement on the music? All right, this is exciting. So this is. Let's mix it around. Let me see how this is. 
Take a bite. I, I enjoy this. Is that a chocolate piece? Hold on. I don't know. I feel like there's a chocolate piece. Hold on. I think this is chocolate. Hold on. I have tasted no chocolate yet, but I, no? I do like this. No. Yeah. This is definitely fruit based. This is like. Yeah, this is kind of a gimmick. <laughs> like, what do you think is this compared to Frankenberry? Don't you feel like you're just eating Frankenberry? Kind of. Hmm. It's a little fruitier though, because there's more than just strawberry in there. This might just be fruit fruit. I think they just stuck fruit fruit out again. I think that's what they did. <laughs> and, they just, and they just took the marmots, or marbits, or whatever you call those little oh. mm. marshmallows, and uh, mm. it's a shame fruit fruit hasn't been out in years. Because if we had a full box of fruit fruit here, we can do it side by side. Yeah, maybe that's why they didn't put it out. To lead up to this, so you wouldn't be able to spoil their fun. There is a, definitely a lot of, I mean, maybe it was just my pour, but I got a lot of Frankenberry on this one. Mm. Hmm. Well, needless to say, it's, it's, it, it, it tastes like the Monster Cereal. It tastes like one of the fruit flavored versions of the Monster Cereal. Mm -hmm. um, I still always lean towards Count Chocula. I love his chocolatey goodness. Uh, 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 Count Chocula. We met, we met the voice of Count Chocula. Tom Kenny. Not Tom, Tom Kenny. Not Tom Kenny. Uh, <laughs> Tom um, Kenny is SpongeBob. Tom Kenny SpongeBob. Um, um, Larry. Larry Kenny. It's, it was a Kenny. Yeah. That's, that's what tripped me up. Yep. Larry Kenny, who is also the voice of Lionel from the Thundercats. And the Trix Rabbit. No, the cuckoo bird. Cuckoo bird. Uh, Sunny, Sunny the cuckoo bird. The cuckoo bird. Yep. Hmm. But he would do the voice of Count Chocula. So. Yes, he would. Well, I'm going to say the cereal itself is not as exciting as I, I would have hoped. But it's still very cool that they have this whole packaging this whole marketing behind it 50th anniversary i'm glad they're doing something and not just not just blowing it off like you know because this is this is the stuff i don't want the freshness to go away there's no shrimp is there any shrimp no shrimp i ate it all so i was happy yeah yeah no shrimp well, i mean i could put dog food in front of you you're gonna eat it you're a monster yeah i am and I'll yeah. do the mash. Yeah. I'm going to show the back, that side because you can look at the front side of the box. You can look at the uh, back side of the box. Uh, the ninth wonder of the world. The back side of monster. Monster cereal box. Well, this was different for the lunchbox bunch, but cereal tasting. That's kind of a lie because it's not a lunchbox. It so you got gypped. This was not a lunchbox you came bunch here for at all. Lunchbox, which probably most people didn't. I'm curious to see if this actually gets more views. We'll see. <laughs> We'll see. Were you here for lunch boxes? If so, yeah. we just totally uh, just we effed you. you guys over. We took you and we poured a bowl of cereal and we tricked you. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, uh, but now's the point in the day where you put your cereal away, you yep. grab your lunch box, and you go to the bus stop. That's right. And you show up at the bus stop with none other than the exciting world of metrics. Exciting metric. world of metrics. Yep. It always comes back to that. Actually, uh, let's go, let's, while we're here, since we haven't done Lunchbox, why don't we take a moment and, cause I just got back from Dragon Con mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. Yeah. I brought a couple things that I got at Dragon Con and there's one thing I want to show you because it does tie into a Lunchbox we already did. Oh. Uh, it's, well, not the Lunchbox itself, but it ties into the property. So. Oh, he's got a little sack. 
It's got a you cloth want, sack. You want to see what's in my sack? Oh my god. Dave, gosh. why don't you look in the sack? Do I know what this is? I think you will. Oh, look at this! It's the Dark Crystal. <laughs> it's it's a it's the shard. It's the shard from the Dark Crystal. We already did the Dark Crystal lunchbox. We did. Yeah, we did that a while ago. Oh, but did. that's the the crystal shard from that. the movie. That's exciting. So now we can heal look the crystal. At that. Wow. Is that actually from the Dark Crystal? No, this is this is a replica. So you didn't destroy is, their whole land. No, like we didn't. We didn't destroy the. We didn't destroy yeah. the world of Thra. Uh, two years ago, I went to Dragon Con, and there's a guy who makes these replicas. Yeah. And I was going back and forth between: Do I want the crystal shard from the Dark Crystal, yeah. or do I want the green crystal from Superman's spaceship? I'm surprised you didn't. I took the green crystal. So this year, when I went back, I was like, now I'm going to get the Dark now Crystal shard. shard. Yeah. So and and this past winter, when there was snow everywhere. I was driving past the park and the snow was nice and pristine. And I said to Christine, hey, let's go home and get the green crystal and throw it. See if a fortress of solitude appears. We, we didn't do that, but we thought about it. We considered it. Missed so. opportunity. So there you go. Now, the crystal. Dark crystal. Was it like what was sundered and undone? Uh, Something whole again, right? Yeah. Oh. Then behold, the two made one. Yeah. My nephew. It was, was a man from Nantucket. <laughs> I was talking to my nephew not long ago, and he said something about the Dark Crystal, and he said, that's an all right movie, but I think it's a little weird that one species of bird people and another species of bird people join together to become tree people, which... I just kind of I, were bigger bird people. I didn't think that the, the mystics were birds. I didn't think they were really birds either. Well, so Look at the birds up in the trees. We're not birds, we're musicians. <laughs> that's a whole other franchise whole other lunchbox still, but still but they didn't make they a lunchbox. Made a lunchbox for that but they're, yeah, they're yep. still connected to the Henson so there you go so, yeah, that's so you can go to Augra and be like oh. Augra I need a crystal shard oh, she'll be like a shard oh. you need a shard please give me the shard yes no you oh, cannot friend. have the shard friend. no Skeksy is not friend mm -hmm. so there you go just just a little Look thing I thought I'd yeah, show you because it's tied into yeah, a lunchbox yeah, and that so. brings it back to the uh, the dragon con that you were just at so yes good yeah yeah what else you got what else I got? Well, this one doesn't tie into a lunchbox, oh, but, okay. oh. but you know, like you Sean and I, you and I watched Star Trek Lower Decks, and yeah. in the season premiere, the mm -hmm. new security chief got turned into a puppet, and someone on the puppetry track actually made the puppet. Yes. So there you go. And what are the what is those aliens called? Uh, the I'm forgetting their names now. Mm -hmm. Now that we're shooting, I'm forgetting oh, their names. Uh, it's from the episode Darmok. They're the uh, Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra. But the security um, chief on Lower Decks is one of these guys. Right, and right. Gets, spoiler. And they even referenced, like, when he, beca when he became a puppet. So <laughs> <laughs> when the walls came down. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah. That's... It's my some of my some of my hall of dragon. I, yeah, look, he can he can heal the crystal now. He can be like, heal the crystal when the crystal yeah. was healed. Yep, that's what he would say. Exactly. When two became one. Mm hmm. All right. Well, no lunch. Well, we got sort of lunch, but you got to see some lunch boxes. But yeah, it was a monster mash. Exactly, it was a monster mash day. So because we're getting so close to Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, which means that we're going to start showing our spooky lunch boxes. Mm hmm. So uh, if you come back next week. Next week, I guess. Next, next week. week, depending on one of you, we're going to show you we'll... a spooky lunchbox. We'll be wearing Ooh. totally different outfits because mm -hmm. it's a week later. Yeah, and then we're going to show you a spooky lunchbox. Ooh! So stay tuned. So for it's, some it's what I do when you say spooky. I go ooh. It's all in the hands <laughs> and the voice. And the voice. <laughs> you have to be Hungarian and double jointed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and hey, did you did. The, the, uh, speaking of Dragon Con, I did the Atlanta airport yeah, video. Very exciting. And a lot of the lunchboxes we've already done they were, were there. Were there. I was surprised. Including on how many. Family Affair. Including family Affair was there. Family Affair, yeah. Yep. There were some ones that I would have smashed that case open. That Battlestar Galactica, uh, the Welcome Back Cotter. King Kong is on my King list. King Kong's on, yeah. Mm -hmm. There were some really good ones. How do you feel about vinyl lunchboxes? There were some vinyl lunchboxes. We don't like plastic. We made that I'm not very a big clear. fan of vinyl either, but you know, it's. Because vinyl is like the gateway drug to the plastic lunchbox. Right. I will say this for the vinyl, though. You don't see a lot of vinyl lunchboxes, so they kind of have that rarity to them. Yeah. There were some Barbie ones. I know there was a big one. Barbie. I saw uh, there was a vinyl Peanuts. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So it's lunch like peanuts. You yeah. Like lunchbox it. museum. <laughs> lunchbox museum in in Columbus, Georgia. You, you and I, we there. got we got to take a trip. There's gonna have to be at some point a lunchbox bunch trip to the lunchbox. Should, museum. should we in the spring try to take take a, a, a trip? Take a couple days. I'll take a couple days off work. Uh, we if drive. The world's not on fire. Maybe we'll do that. Today. Well, there you go. All right, everybody. Back next week. Keep eating those ding dongs. Keep playing your cornhole. And enjoy some Monster Mash cereal from General Mills. Absolutely. Can they send us some like more promo? Can they send us promo stuff? That would be awesome. Maybe yeah. If you know somebody at General Mills. General Mills. Send us promo stuff. Sponsor we us. Love the Monster mm -hmm. series. Yep. We'll 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 stop making jokes about shrimp. We'll, we'll we'll cut the shrimp jokes if you pay us. So. That's all we got. All right. Keep wearing, keep eating the ding dongs. Keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone what you need. Keep wearing those pajamas with the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. Oh, it's a trap. Some people call them pigeons. Some people call them jammies. They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies. They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas. But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now we're having fun. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now the song is done.